Hey, Pop Rose listeners. Now, child, you know hardships in life can be tough, and overcoming them and rebuilding yourself can be even tougher, but easier with the support of loved ones and the right help. From Audio Boom comes a brand new health and wellness podcast. It's called Here's the Sitch with Mike and Lawrence, hosted by Jersey Shore's Mike the Situation Sorrentino and his wife, Lauren. Mike and Lauren invite you into their personal lives to discuss everything from healthy living, recovery from addiction, and much, much more. You get to hear the situation be candid about life after jail, getting back to work, and the steps he's taking to rebuild his life to be better than before. This is an Audio Boom original podcast that premieres on Tuesday, March 3rd, today, with new episodes every Tuesday and is available on your favorite podcast app right now. We get to share with you an exclusive first listen of Here's the Sitch with Mike and Lauren. In this clip, you'll hear Mike and Lauren discuss Mike's journey to recovery from addiction, the difficulty of going back to work, and his return to Jersey Shore family vacation. While you're listening, be sure to search for and subscribe to Here's the Sitch with Mike and Lawrence in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. Hey, Mike Everyone knows that I love quotes, and uh, you know your current situation is not your final destination. Honey. But even with Mike, just went into like an amazing monologue for you guys about how he got to where he is today, which did take him a few years. But I don't want you to be overwhelmed if you're listening to this and you're mm-hmm. struggling yeah. financially, you're struggling in a bad relationship, or you're struggling in your addiction. I don't want you to be like, holy shit, I have to fix myself, not just to get sober. I have to fix myself here, physically, yes. spiritually. You know, don't take all yes. of that on. He's just covering the basis of of how much self-work you can put in to yes. become such an amazing, better person. Take it one day at a time, do little steps at a time. Yes. When, when Mike first got Small sober, a hundred percent. When Mike first got sober, all he did was go to the gym yep. and go to a meeting. Yeah. Go to a gym and go to a meeting in the beginning. Yeah. And, just to sort of get my footing. And honestly, that's literally all he did. You know what? It, it really is small steps in life for anything. And I think that we did such a great job with recovery. And that sort of set the tone um, when we sort of had to face the music and I had to go to prison. Because we sort of, um, you know, we sort of learned how we handled recovery, you know. And we did so well with that, with patience and sort of working one day at a time to to sort of reach our goals and, and, and things like that. Eventually, when I had to go to prison, we used those same principles to sort of survive in that particular situation as well. Yeah, and let's be, let's really give it to you here because I want oh, you to know it oh, was not easy in the beginning. Oh, it's, it? Recovery is None never was. easy for anyone, None the addict, was. the family member, the relationship. It's really hard and you're kind of on eggshells because you're hoping that it works out this time and it sticks and you're just trying to get through time and mm-hmm. get time under your belt. And when I say Mike went to meetings in the gym and that was it, that wasn't like, the luxurious of his free time. That was him being unemployed. Like mm, yeah, he had, came out of rehab. He had no job and, and no place to live. Yeah. So, you know, we struggled for a long time while he got back on his feet mm-hmm. and then slowly got, you know, even the confidence back where he yeah. felt like he could go back to work and yeah. go work on TV. I remember the first job that I got. He didn't um, want to take. I didn't want to take it. it right? The first offer he got. I'm like, how could you turn this down? It was a food network deal, right? Yeah. And uh, it was worse cooks and they wanted me to be a worse cook. And I'm like, wait a second, I'm not a worse cook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I cooked all of the seasons of Jersey Shore. I didn't think I was a worse cook. And they explained to me that it wasn't necessarily a, really about the title worse cooks. At the end of the day, I'm not a chef and I don't cook like a chef. I don't claim to be a chef. And that technically you are the worst chef. (laughs) Well, it was celebrity worst cook. So I was getting a few celebrities together and seeing who was the worst cook of the bunch. Yes. The worst cook. (laughs) (laughs) That is another show. And that is not on the Food Network channel. Okay. And, and that's what we're all about is having fun, but that we'll talk about that next time. But um, yeah, you know, I had a lot of 
uh, competition when I did uh, that particular show. I didn't think that there was going to be anybody really on that show of of Worst Cooks. And it turned out I ended up getting like third. You so know? You, yeah, you did get third. Wait, got, was it second I, I or like, third? I think I got third, to be honest Yeah, with I forgot which dish put you out. Mm-hmm. We might have to rerun that. I, if you guys are listening, please go watch Worst Cooks. Yeah. No, it was season three, I think it was. I'll be honest with you. Of Celeb Worst Cooks. If you're not and first, one- you're last. <laughs> so I don't really remember what season it was. But remember, I didn't want to do the season. I wasn't. Yeah. I didn't think because if I didn't have... You know, my body back at that particular time period, um, you know, I didn't I didn't have my confidence to go in front of the uh, TV screen again. And little by little, over years, that confidence returned. But it only returned when I continued to sort of do the right thing. Am I mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It uh, returned when you were able to be like your authentic self yes. in front of people. Because I think for a long time, um, once you got deep in substances and on TV, you were... You were, you know, when you're on any oh, substance, yeah. you're masking oh. your true feeling. You don't yeah. even know where you are half yeah. the time. So no. there's no way to be authentic under the influence. No, no. A lot of those seasons when I was under the influence, I definitely was living my worst life. Uh, but now, you know, in hindsight, you know, I feel like I'm living my best life. You know, I'm being my best self. And um, even going back to the most recent um, episodes of Jersey Shore Family Vacation, I was also nervous to do those as well. Yes, because the reboot. When, the they, reboot, when yeah. they signed the reboot, you were very nervous. You were immediately on board. You never were going to think yeah. about not doing it. But I was nervous but because nervous. I was going to be around that environment again. And I had about two years clean and sober. A uh, very good foundation. But I was like, how am I going to do this show again with a bunch of savages? You know, that <laughs> that drink and go to a club. Where do I fit in? Can I still be the funny guy? Like, you know, like... And, and plus, I had a girlfriend at the time. I couldn't go to clubs anymore and sort of be, you know, that guy. So I, I sort of had to, you know, reinvent myself. And I'll be honest with you, I, I challenged myself in my recovery. Um, and I became this, you know, the best version of myself. Now, when I go to a club, um, you know, I'm sort of vibing out, you know, on a vibe. You know, people have to drink alcohol. And a frequency, a yeah. higher frequency. Yeah, people have to drink or they have to take a substance to sort of be... On my level, I, I, I believe that. So Yeah. Um, well, I have to say that you impressed me very much when uh, the reboot happened. Yes. And you really stepped up to the plate of proving yourself, I think, to yourself yes. first and foremost, mm-hmm. that you could go back into that environment yeah. and go where, you know, you really went wild yes. and your addiction did not start there, but it, where you really, you know, went crazy with the substance abuse and down a dark path with that so the fact that you went into the lion's den faced my fears and exactly faced your fears and also your dream at the same time jersey shore was one of your biggest accomplishments you always had such a great relationship with Mm -hmm. your cast members who Mm -hmm. are like your family now and it was really important to you to be able to do that and withhold your reputation you built yep you know For the past two years, the really cool thing that I love about Jersey Shore Family Vacation and the reboot is that while Mike was putting in all this work, getting sober and clean, the world didn't get a chance to see that Mm -hmm. and see the person that he is at his core and the person who he fought for to be today. And then when the reboot happened, it gave Mike the opportunity to share himself with the world and he really you know, took the ball and ran with it. And I couldn't be prouder for you. Oh my God, honey. Or Thank prouder you. of you. I love you, honey. And I love you too. And you really did. You really made your family proud. Oh especially me and Mosey. Oh my goodness. Mosey, <laughs> that man. <laughs> Mosey is our golden retriever. He is the sweetest man on earth um, really quickly. But also I want to uh, point out to the listener that um, I wouldn't suggest you trying to go to a club if you are newly sober, okay? I went when I was, you know, two years, two years, over two years clean and sober, very strong foundation, and I, I was really forced to sort of challenge myself. So I wouldn't rush back and into a scene that, you know, kind of destroyed you. Or distractions. <laughs> yes, those are, are distractions. But I, I like I said, um, I don't... Um, I, I wouldn't shun it, I guess. I wouldn't say no to it. I, I would say continue. It's not impossible. It, exactly. That's the thing. It's not impossible. It. It's mind over matter. Exactly. 
You've been listening to an exclusive clip of Here's the Sitch with Mike and Lawrence. Be sure to subscribe and listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, the iHeartRadio app, or wherever you get your podcasts. We got a situation.